young tiger. And the first thing we talk about where the young tiger came from, and where the design and the ideas came from. The Germans had introduced back in '43 the uh, Ferdinand, which was a tank destroyer based on the original Porsche Tiger with an 88 millimeter gun, and uh, they only had 90 of these but they were extremely pleased with the success ratio of the uh, Ferdinands in combat. The kill ratio was very high. Of course they lost some because of the heavy weights and so forth, but they'd learned from that. So when the Ferdinands were uh, dying out because they were slowly either getting worn out or being knocked out, they wanted a replacement for that. So obviously they looked at the Tiger II chassis as a possible alternative for mounting rather than mounting an 88 the next size up and they went for the 128 millimeter gun and this is a Hansa Jaeger tank destroyer that's meant to operate an extreme range that's the design idea of it now they ordered 90 of these basically to replace the, uh, the Ferdinand and they were manufactured uh, or final assembled in the same factory in the Nibelungenwerk in Austria but using the components of a uh, Tiger II. It's not the exact same chassis, it's actually longer. And if you look here, what a quick look won't show, is that the driver's compartment is much lower than on a Tiger II. If you continue this line down the line, it ends up below the line of the engine. So that's a significant difference. So why did they do that? They did that to be able to get sufficient depression from this big gun without getting any higher than it is and it is really very very high vehicle. The suspension is actually longer than you get on a, on a Tiger II but it's exactly the same components of what's known I suppose as the Henschel suspension as opposed to the Porsche suspension. Porsche designed suspension for this vehicle as well so 10 of them were produced with the Porsche suspension and that was tested and used in combat but uh, they weren't too happy that it distributed the weight adequately. This particular vehicle, um, with one other, was in a town in Germany when the American troops arrived, and you can see the battle damage that occurred. The front of the gun mantle has been torn away, and you can see on the nose plate, you can see where the rounds impacted. They didn't do any damage there, but on the gun mantle they tore a big chunk of it away and the uh, Germans abandoned it. But it wasn't meant as a vehicle, it was not meant to be used in ones and twos around the, the uh, southern parts of Germany. But at that stage in, uh, in the war they had more or less nothing else so they used everything they could.